Good morning, everybody. So today we're gonna have a cozy fall day. Before we can do all of that, the plumber has to come. So I'm not gonna be able to stream because I have no idea when they're coming. So when Jarvis gets home, we need to put together, I bought a, a garage organizer. Like, I don't know why, I just get so squirrely when people are coming over. I'm like, they're gonna be in the garage. They're gonna be looking around in the garage and judging how filthy our garage is. And I just like, I'm nuts. I'm just crazy, that's all I can say because no one cares. Like when I go to other people's houses for courtesy for them, I don't look in their garage. I'm like, you know what? This is your business. I know that no one's looking in my garage, but I feel the need to have it be ultra super clean for some reason. So I'm going to deal with that mania later. But tonight I'm making my world famous James Beard award winning <laughs> five star grilled cheese and I'm making my tomato bisque soup. So I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do that and that's like my favorite fall recipe besides chili, which I'm also making this weekend. And I'm putting them in the little pumpkin ramekins and I think we're gonna watch Harry Potter, but oh my God. I'm almost at the end of Goblet of Fire. When I tell you that last night I was reading and I was so scared, those books are scary. scary. I always remember the movie being very scary to me, like Goblet of Fire, I've said that a couple times always very scary right but when you're reading it and it's at night i'm stressed like last night i couldn't get to sleep because i was so scared <laughs> we're definitely gonna probably watch harry potter in the new room that's the plan all right the plumbers are here so we'll see what goes on plumbers just left and they couldn't find anything wrong they took out like the whole dishwasher area and they're like, yeah, I mean, it looks like it had been wet at some point, but it was dry at that point. And they ran the dishwasher, they ran the sink, and they just couldn't find anything. They're like, basically at this point, we're just gonna have to drill, you know, cut into your drywall. And I was like, let's just wait for another weekend, please. <laughs> because they're like, yeah, honestly, we just don't see the issue. And I'm like, my parents are coming. I just don't wanna have a huge construction site going on downstairs when I'm trying to have football Sunday. So anyway, they just left and I'm considering this to be good news. They're like, just walk, keep an eye on it and we'll come back out. I'm like, okay. So that's good. I also called Spectrum and I said, is my stuff really canceled? Because my internet's still working here and my, cable, my streaming is still working. And he goes, yep, it's canceled on our end. Literally get off the phone. And then two seconds later, I get an email. Your auto pay is scheduled. None of it makes any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna be able to put everything back now and go on with my life and use my dishwasher again. Anyway, that's the update with the plumbers. I know that you're all on the edge of your seat, so. All right, I just got a package from Sephora. Okay, so first thing that I got was this Too Faced Born This Way. I really wanted a new foundation. One thing that I've been doing is, you know how I'm super pale, I mean, you can see it. It's written all over my face. So I went with the lightest shade that they make. And I don't know if that's a huge mistake or not, okay? But honestly, it looks, in the bottle, it looks like it actually might be too dark. <laughs> so I just love this foundation because it's like a full cover, medium to full, yeah. I've always loved this. I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade. Oh, nope, that's gonna be perfect. I was really worried, but I think that's gonna be really nice. Yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been going as light as I possibly can. And when I first put on like a super, super light foundation, it looks really bad on me. And then it's kind of one of those things where it's a trust the process. It has to get worse before it gets better. And then my skin looks so much better though when I use a really light, because then I do sort of the contrasting bronzer and it just has my features it's just like my features stand out way more that's basically what i'm trying to say so oh yeah that's gonna be good i can't wait to try that i've been just i have all of my foundations are back from my self tanning era so they're all medium beige like what was i doing in a medium beige look at me what was i doing in a medium beige what was i doing wearing a four medium four <laughs> light beige like at one point in my life i was wearing a l'oreal warm five what was i thinking then i got this when i take my makeup off i really wanted a really hydrating moisturizer kind of like overnight face mask so i wanted to try this one because it's also good for number one sensitive skin but also this is like their redness line and i have all that rosacea as most of you can see and tell and know so i'm wondering if this is gonna 
help me at all. But this is called Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Sleep Air Intensive Mask. Whoa, Nelly, it looks like friggin' aloe. Mmm. Yeah, so I think this is gonna be nice. Whoa. Yahtzee, so that's huge, Mungus. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know. Okay, it's fall time, so I'm gonna start making the soup. So in the back here, I'm making chicken broth because most of you guys probably can just buy the chicken broth, but I really like this one. It's You can find it at the grocery store. It's called uh, Edward and Sons Not Chicken Bouillon Cubes. So I need two of these because you need about four cups. I'll link the recipe below. Then you need San Marzano tomatoes. Um, you need celery, you need an onion, and then you need heavy whipping cream. I have this one from Country Crock plant cream. You need garlic, you need rice, sugar, and then you need some seasonings. It's very simple and easy. And you also are gonna need an immersion blender if you don't have one. Onion and celery with a little bit of salt is like the best smell in the world. But I have my chicken broth right here. I've got my tomatoes. So once you're done simmering all of the garlic, onion, and celery, then you combine these. I also just measured out all my seasonings as well. Combine this. So I need to bring this back up to a simmer. And then I simmer it for about 35 to 45 minutes and I add in some seasoning. So I have smoked paprika, I have white jasmine rice, salt, pepper, and then a little bit of cayenne. So once that comes up back up, I'll add that to it. It's just so easy. The hardest part is having to immersion blend it and that doesn't even really take that long. So yeah, it's just pretty simple and easy. And then you add in some of the heavy whipping cream and it's just the best soup ever. I look forward to this every year. <laughs> Like, actually. All right, it's time to assemble the grilled cheese. Many of you have seen this before. You will need earth balance. You're gonna need a loaf of this. I got it from Aldi. Sourdough bread. Sourdough is the only way to go. You're gonna need mustard, okay? This is the secret ingredient. I really like mustard, so I put it on both sides. And then you'll need cheese. So I really like the Daya American. You don't need to buy both, but I just have two different kinds. This is the BioLife white cheddar. So I'm just gonna kind of use what I have right now just so I can get rid of it. I really don't like to do too much cheese. So I think I'm just going to do in total three slices. See how it overlaps in the middle? So three slices, that's good enough for me. Okay, then you put butter on it. I'm a butter person. There's some people that do mayo. Mayo is definitely easier to do if you don't, if you like forgot to take your butter out, but I took this butter out a while ago, so it's pretty spreadable. And then the secret trick to this is you wanna put it into a cold pan. Just put it in face down onto a cold pan and you'll get a really nice, even, crispity, crunchity to it. So you just wanna get it all the way, spread it all the way out evenly like that. And then you're basically ready to go. And then I like to cut mine in half as well. Cold pan. So it's been about, you know, 35, 40 minutes. So now it's time to use the immersion blender. I just got this for like 15 bucks at Walmart. It's gotta be really careful, but go slow. When you're done blending it, it should be really smooth and it should be this nice orange color. So now we need to add in the heavy whipping cream. So we need half a cup. Here's what it looks like right now. Is that not so gorgeous? Definitely needs more salt, it needs way more pepper, and it needs more cayenne. I am now going to serve this into our little ramekins, which is like the whole point of this whole day, honestly. Oh, this is just so cute. Okay, here's the final result. How stinking cute is this? I'm gonna do a taste test while we're both here together, but I mean, come on. So perfect. Okay, here's the grilled cheese. Good proportions. Crunchy, crispy. So good. I dipped it in there a little. 
It's the mustard, which gives it kind of like that acidic brightness, you know? It's the crunchy sourdough bread, which is just so good. The cheese is very mild, just paired with a tomato soup. It's just so good. You've got to try this. finish the movie later we're both falling asleep but i will see you guys tomorrow hope you enjoyed the video today my parents are coming tomorrow so see you then bye, bye.